Good evening. Welcome to another episode of tonight's double feature. My name is Paul Brooks. Tonight I'm drinking a <clears throat> Miami cocktail, Bellini Spritz. I gotta say it's pretty tasty. Never had it before, but um, if you're into this sort of frou-frou drink, not bad. Um, welcome to the show. Tonight I wanted to talk about a movie franchise, two films, that I feel don't don't get enough love in the movie community and the film buff community. And um, if you saw the thumbnail, I think you know what's going on, so let's get right into it. We're going to start with 28 Days, starring certainly one of America's sweethearts, Sandra Bullock. And this is a movie that um, I've been watching since it first came out. I saw it in the theater. Um, as you can see on the cover, it got two thumbs up from not Ebert and uh, Siskel and Ebert, but Ebert and Ma uh, Michaelia Perea. Roger Ebert and the movies. So I think Siskel passed away and and then this movie came out. Um, but it's it's a great film. I bought it for ten dollars years ago from Amoeba, as you can see right there. And this is a film that is all about um, um, alcohol addiction, you know, like not to get too serious or anything, but that's what it's about. It's about rehab. It's about 28 days, you know, um, of, of trying to kick the booze. And it's a great film. A lot of people find Sandra Bullock to be attractive. I'm not one of those people, but that's okay. Uh, she's great in this movie. And I think in order to just the best way to go about this is just uh, read the back of the box because I was looking at it earlier and I thought, you know, that's a great, whoever wrote the little description on the back here did a bang up job. So let's, uh, let me take a sip of my Bellini spritz and then we'll uh, check it out. So uh, the little blurb at the top, right there says, uh, prepare, no, perhaps even the best work, there's a sticker over it, so I'm trying to, I'm trying here, perhaps even the best work Sandra Bullock has ever done, and uh, it's Jonathan Foreman from the New York Post said that. So, Gwen Cummings is the name of her character in this film, and I have seen the film, um, Sandra Bullock is a successful New York journalist and ultimate party girl. She's looking a little saucy on the back there, if you can see that. Looking a little saucy there, Sandra. Um, she loves to party. Um, she loves to ha she loves to have a good time. Trouble is, she she never can tell when she's had enough. So that's where the uh, alcoholism comes into play. When she borrows her sister's, her sister, her sister's, Elizabeth Perkins, uh, wedding limo and plows it into someone's front porch, um, the wildlife she shares with her boyfriend Jasper, played by Dominic West, comes to a screeching halt. She earns herself a DUI and a 28-day stretch in rehab, hence the title. There she faces an unthinkable set of rules, in parentheses here, no cell phones. Can you imagine how difficult it must have been? This movie came out in 2000. Can you imagine what, what, it, what people would have been going through in the year 2000? if they couldn't use their cell phone, just, you might as well put somebody in prison. Um, and some strange rituals like chanting and 
parentheses, gulp, sharing her feelings. Joining up with an eccentric group of fellow rehabbers led by the in, in, inimitable, in, inimitable counselor Cornell, Steve Buscemi, Gwen embarks on a touching and often hilarious road to recovery where she learns that life is not always a party and that real happiness comes from within. That's a great life lesson. And then at the end it says, also don't miss the net starring Sandra Bullock. <laughs> so 28 days, great film. The thing about this movie though, and they, you know, it, they don't say this on the back of the box, but if you've seen it, you know that at the very end of the film, there is a huge twist. Uh, I mean, first of all, uh, you think that she's going to, this, uh, her boyfriend Jasper, played by Dominic West, you're thinking, okay, well, they're going to work things out. But she ends up with Steve Buscemi. And it's kind of a message of, you know, don't judge a book by its cover, I guess. But what's weird to me about this tape, I don't know if you guys can see that right there. We're talking about Dominic West, but that is Viggo Mortensen, and he's not in the film. So I don't know if this was some sort of error. You got Sandra up here, okay, fine. You know, like it's the same thing from the front, that's fine. But then Viggo Mortensen down there, and he's like, what am I doing here? I'm not in this movie. So I that I didn't quite understand. But, you know, like I said, uh, if you've seen the film, there is a huge twist at the end of this. She, everything works out. She's happy. She kicks. She, she stops drinking alcohol. She gets sober. Uh, is it rude that I'm drinking a, a Bellini spritz and talking about this movie? No offense to anybody. I'm just, you know, having, having a little nightcap. But everything works out for Gwen. Is that her name? Gwen. And then at the very end of the movie, she uh, gets attacked by flesh-eating zombies. And you're like, what is this? What? Th where did this come from, you know? Well, they wanted to do a sequel. And they did. Now... Nobody make fun of me. Nobody. Just, I'm sorry. I thought that I thought that I owned the sequel. I didn't. I don't. And I made a mistake. So I had to I apologize for this. This is real. I had to go to the library and rent the sequel to 28 Days. And you all know what it is. It's called 28 Days Later. And I'm sorry that it's, you know, I'm sorry, but I thought that I, I, it's one of those situations where I thought that, you know, I had picked it up at some point and I just, I just haven't gotten around to it. So I do apologize, but this is the sequel to 28 Days. Um, and it's called 28 Days Later, which makes a lot of sense in terms of her in terms of Gwen's journey to sobriety, you know, it's not just the 28 days. Okay, you get sober, but then what, you know? Well, it turns out after you get sober, you get attacked by uh, flesh-eating zombies. And, you know, this movie, if you've seen it, is famous, maybe even, I would say, more famous, uh, more famous than 28 Days because this is the film that uh, really was the the first film, if I'm not mistaken, to introduce fast-moving zombies to the world, um, which, you know, had not been done before. And this came out, I want to say, um, two or three years after the first film. And... You know, tonally, it's very different. This is, you know, 28 days, a little bit more of a, you know, there's, it's a lot of comedy with heart, 
you know, it's one of those. I mean, you can kind of just judge by the cover here, but I have seen it. Um, Sandra is, she kind of drunk on the cover here, you know, just like blurry chair, blurry background. She's having a good time because she's drinking a lot. But this one, 28 Days Later, which takes place 28 days later after the events of the first film, is much more about zombies than the first one. Um, and like I said, they set it up, you know, at the end of the first movie. So that's fine. But what kind of threw me for a loop is that Sandra Bullock is not in this movie very much. Um, kind of a situation where maybe, you know, she was doing some other projects and she said, look, I'll come back. I'll come back for the sequel because the original did so much for my career and I thank everyone involved, but I got other stuff going on. So I'll come back for a day or two. So she's not in this much. I'm not going to spoil anything, you know. Um, but what I will say is that there are some great characters who sort of take you know, she passes the baton, if you will, to some of the other characters um, in this film who don't necessarily struggle with sobriety as much because they have other priorities, mainly the uh, very fast flesh-eating zombies who um, tr are, are trying to kill them and in a lot of cases succeed. You know, but this is a great movie, uh, very fast paced, very, you know, sort of edge of your seat thriller type of situation. Um, what's what's nice about my library is that there's no late fees anymore. So I was able to go in and, uh, you know, rent this for free and I can keep it for, you know, as long as I want to, which I'm not going to do. I'm, I am going to return it. Because I feel like at some point I should probably pick up uh, a proper Blu-ray or maybe even a steel book or something like that. What I can do is show you some of the artwork on the back here. Um, got the disc right there. And uh, on the back, it does say that it's uh, visionary and scary, which I agree with. And as you can see, it has some killer alternate endings, um, which I don't know if I've seen, but I'll have to check that out. A lot of bonus features on here. But as I mentioned earlier, lots of great characters who pick up the mantle and kind of run with it, run run for their lives, if you will. Uh, Cillian Murphy is great in this movie. Um, as... I want to say that he plays um, what they thought was supposed to be this guy. Now he's in the second movie, and it, and he does a great job, um, you know, sort of saying, Gwen, you know, like, look, when, you know, we're gonna we're gonna get through this type of a situation, and just because it's the end of the world, and just because there are really fast. Uh, zombies trying to attack us that doesn't mean that you need to have a drink you have to hang on you have to you know you worked so hard to get sober don't throw that away type of a situation and so i think that it works really well now there's a little bit of confusion um there's another there's another film out there called um 28 weeks later and there's some confusion there that maybe that is part three and the, the, they were trying to do a trilogy that film is not uh related actually to 28 days later or to 20 or to the original 28 days that's a completely separate thing not not a great film i don't recommend it but that's a completely different you know it's not in the franchise this is the franchise right here this is what you need to worry about um and so i highly recommend checking out both of these films i need to do a thumbnail but what uh look i'm just to be honest i'm a little bit embarrassed about the 
library. Not that there's anything wrong with the library. I mean, you should go read books and stuff like that. But I just feel like as a fan of this franchise, I should own the Blu-ray or the, you know, limited edition Steelbook or something like that. And I don't. I'm going to work on it, though. I'm going to work on it for you guys. So what I'm going to do instead for the thumbnail, just this will be our little secret, okay? Just don't tell anybody. Keep this little thing between you and me. Um, I'm going to use a different movie as the thumbnail for 28 Days Later. And then what I'll do is I'll Photoshop 28 Days Later into into this right here. So here we go. Thumbnail. This is a film called uh, Shack Out on 101. Neat little movie from the 50s or 60s, somewhere in there. See if we can get the ring light out of here and we'll wrap it up. Hope you guys are doing well. I thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time.